Hey everyone, welcome back to Retro Tech. Now today I want to start talking a little bit more about the BVM restoration. Again, this is a D-Series BVM and I've talked a little bit about it already, how I'm going to get started on restoring it. I've already got the capacitor kits and everything ready and the last thing I needed was a new CRT or tube for the monitor. And recently I made a post on YouTube about how I'd found a tube that was advertised as brand new in the box for this monitor for less than $200 shipped, so I was ecstatic. I bought it. It came in the mail this week and uh, I've got some very bad news unfortunately about it. So uh, this video I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that. Uh, but first I'm just going to show you what arrived, how it was packed. And it, again this is the tube that was supposed to be replacing the tube that's in this monitor. Because again this monitor has about 70,000 hours on it and the tube is very dim. So it definitely needs a new tube. But first let's go look at the tube that came in from eBay. So here's the box that the tube came in. It was double box, thankfully, but I noticed right away that it didn't no look new. First off, if the box is new, it's going to be stapled together. And this one has been taped. It also has a date on it from uh, February of 2009 and a PVM-14L5. So right away I was like fishy, but when I opened the box and was completely disappointed. So here's the box and I'll show you just everything I'm talking about. So again, all it was was taped up and there was that date written right here for 2009 and then I opened it and right away after removing the foam I could tell that it's definitely not new. Alright, so you don't have to be a complete genius or really know what's even going on with the CRT to tell this is used. It's got the epoxy from where the old wedges were in place that kept the yoke uh, from touching the back of the tube. It's got some purity magnets. There's even a convergence strip left here. It's got this old tape on the uh, CRT neck right here and it's just covered in of course soot. Definitely used and obviously the new tube that was in here was swapped out at this point and or at some point in February of 2009 and this is the old tube that was replaced with it so this is not new and not I have no idea how many hours or what kind of usage was left on it so I'm not gonna be keeping this tube I'm actually returning it uh, because it's not it's not okay I'm gonna kinda talk to you now <laughs> a little bit about the eBay procedure because uh, this seller tried to pretty much fight me on saying that this was a new tube and saying that I was wrong that this was verified by Sony as being a new tube and I told him I was like look you're wrong uh, that's like saying you know an old light bulb in a new box is new even though it's been used so anyway uh, let's just so now I'll show you a little bit more about eBay and how this whole decision went down alright so this tube again it's it's used and it's not as advertised so right away I contacted the seller and I said look it's not new it's used and I'll show you some of the responses he had to me first he pretty much said that he it was certified from Sony and that they believe it to be new and at first tried to get me to take a fifty dollar payment or refund off the 190 that I paid and keep it but I, again I told him I said look that's not okay you can't list things as being brand new and I'll show you the listing here but you can't list things as being brand new when they're not actually brand new. You have to uh, put down there that it's used. So he didn't really like that. He kept saying that he thought it was new, but he eventually said that they would refund me my money and then they never refunded me my money. So I had to get eBay involved. They of course took about five minutes to decide in my favor and then sent me a turn label so I'm about to pack this back up and ship it priority mail back to the seller so I'll get to get this packed back up now in the box it came in I'm gonna drop it off at the postal service and that basically puts me behind on getting a new tube but I was able to get some uh, salvaged monitors one included was another D series like this that doesn't power on but it does have a tube in it so maybe we'll just go ahead and swap that used tube into this and see if that does any kind of better picture quality uh, improvement or if it makes this monitor again look better but we're not going to use this tube because for $250 I can call Save on Pat and get a verified tube and know the exact amount of hours on it 
and know that it's got less than 10,000 hours on it, the ones he sells for $250. So um, not knowing how much life is on this, it's definitely still not even worth $140 that the guy tried to uh, negotiate me down to. So again, don't be afraid to say no and just wait it out till eBay finally steps in. It does take a few days. All right, everybody, so right when I thought I was done with this video, uh, I have a little bit more information to give you because this was pretty much the worst eBay experience that I've had to deal with when it comes to a seller. So again, the seller told me they would refund my money, but they sent me a long explanation of all these terms and conditions that they supposedly have for me buying from them, even though they are well outside the rules and regulations that eBay sets in place. So they were pretty much just writing a bunch of crap that didn't really even matter. So um, they sent me that. They said they would refund me, but they never sent me a refund. And then they just basically stopped communicating with me. I talked to eBay. They sent me a return label, which I returned the tube. And get this, the seller actually refused to accept the delivery of the package. So when they showed up to the, deliver him the return, he refused to take it. And now the, po the post office, excuse me, is holding on to the package. So I saw this and it was noted in uh, the USPS tracking as just an error. So I'll show you what that looks like here on the screen. But it said it was an error. So um, after a day of it sitting there like this, I just gave it one day. I went into my eBay app. And if you get into your eBay app and go down and you select like help and contact, you can actually select to have eBay call you back so you don't have to wait on hold or anything. But I had to do that the first time and I talked with an eBay representative very quickly. They were very nice and they explained to me that I was covered for this purchase under eBay's, of course, 100% money back guarantee. And since they found the uh, case in my favor that they would ultimately refund me, but I did have to go through another step of giving the seller two more days to issue a refund. So after my first conversation with eBay, of course, I tried to send the seller another message. Uh, no response. And then it was two days later today, so I reached out again and requested eBay call me back. They did. And I told them, hey, the guy still hasn't given me any money back. They said, well, that's you've waited long enough and they went in and manually took the money out of his PayPal and gave it to me today and it hit my account back today. Again, I just want to show you this and talk about it because if you ever have a situation on eBay specifically for CRT stuff like uh, for example our famous infamous seller of e on eBay who sells things uh, based on generic pictures and doesn't match up serial numbers according to listings and lists things a little bit shady um, if you have a situation where you're not happy and you just don't even want to deal with it, you want to make him refund you every penny you got and just take back their monitor, I suggest you go through eBay and pretty much ignore the seller if they're not going to be willing to work with you a lot. But hey, that's officially the end of this video. I appreciate you sitting and listening to my experience and my rant. Please feel free to leave a comment on maybe how you would have handled it, if anything, differently. Uh, and remember to always, always... Uh, make sure you're covered on any purchase you make online for this very reason. I'm Steve. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with some more retro content.